For some people, this place is the starting point for their travels. For others, this place is the final destination after a long journey. This is the destiny of crossroads where people meet and park. It's also the charm of Istanbul, a city that passes through Europe and Asia. It's said that some 600 royal cooks served delicacies of the world for the Sultan, the king of this palace. That led Turkish food to become one of the world's top three foods today. I'm off on a special trip to Turkey in search of the rare foods of sultans. The East and the West faced each other in Turkey. Like the fate of a passage, people come and go. Turkey holds numerous traces of history all over the country. Turkey, with its extraordinary charm, is an 11-hour flight from Korea. A six-hour drive from Istanbul takes you to Safranbolu. It has gotten much easier to get to this area, but in the past, Adventurers, the people of the Silk Road, paved the way with their caravans. A village stands at every place they stop to take a break from their trudging along on their long journeys. The true joy of traveling comes from taking the time to meet the locals. Children easily let their guards down, even to strangers. They tell me they will show me their treasure, so I quickly follow them. It's a totally different scene from Korean children who always hang on to their cell phones and games. The children here play on a playground. Oh, thank you. Ah, okay, okay. 손님이 오면은요 이 레몬 물을 레몬 수를 줘서 손을 닦게 해서 청량감을 느끼게 하고 시원하고 이제 깨끗하게 하기 위해서 손님한테 이렇게 먼저 레몬 수를 뿌려줘요. 돌마, 바클라바, 돌마, 돌마. 터키에서는요 어느 가정에서나 이렇게 음식을 준비해 놓고 손님이 오면은 마치 손님을 위해서 준비해 놓은 것처럼 이렇게 손, 음식을 내는데요. 포도잎으로 만든 돌마예요. 돌마고 여기는 바클라바인데 바클라바는 사실 가정에서 만들기가 굉장히 어려운 디저트 중에 하나거든요. 근데 이 너무 너무 달아서 제가 처음 바클라바를 먹었을 때 완전히 지옥처럼 달다고 그렇게 표현했던 디저트 중에 하나예요. <laughs> Safran Bolu. It is a name that sounds like it would spread the fragrance of strong spices. It is actually well known for its bed of saffron flowers, and that is where the city's name originated. There must be an old story behind each alley, every tile on the roofs, 
and every stone on the street. Even time takes time here. Yabashi, Yabashi, ga toki malo, nirige, nirige, lanan tushide. I Osman shide, i tulki del kuriyanso. Yoksaga kuni mubshi je naeke marel kuroogo. Kakuni je changmonero bi, changmoneso bonen. 아줌마들과 인사를 나누고 이 길을 느리게 느리게 걸으면서 여행할 수 있는 곳이 사프란 볼레. 이 ancient city that is built on two mountain slopes preserves the image it had during the Ottoman era. This is the only village in Turkey that is lined with traditional houses. Exploring the old market alley of Safran Balu that is created along the contour lines is a fun experience. A market in the shape of a square is held in the center with workshops of shoemakers and blacksmiths surrounding it, which keeps you from getting bored. I wonder what is going on. The family is saying sad farewells after spending the holiday together. <laughs> Why is she bringing water? The farewells that dragged on for a while are finally over. <laughs> They still stay in the alley, sad for sending their family members off. There is strength in preserved things from the past. While everything else is striving to adjust to modern civilization, the houses that stayed intact for 600 years create a beautiful scene. Merhaba. Merhaba. Hoş geldiniz. Yes, merhaba. Ne oldu gizeyo? Ne oldu biliyoruz? Evet, evet hoş, yeah. geldiniz. hoş geldiniz. Hoş yeah. geldiniz. <gülüyor> Kundum su da yok. Beraber kullanalım. Evet, herkes kullanabilir ha. mahalle. I meet someone special as I pass by a faucet. Evet, evet ben de ne yapıyor? Bayramın adı ki boneşası. Evet, sağ olun. Bayramınız <gülüyor> nasıl geçti? Çok güzel geçti. Ye. Yeah. Evet. Kanıtları benim boneşası ya. Ziyareti çok koydu. Evet, büyük dede var burada. Onun için kalabalıktı gelip gidenler. Çok geçeyin ay, bana şey harabadı ya geçe sağ ol. Çok geçeyin. Ne? I was wondering what the house looked like. I go in and realize that there is a large garden in the back, creating a whole new world on its own. It looks much like a house in the rural areas of Korea. I even see a plum tree at the back of the garden. <laughs> 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 the 
the owner must be proud of the naturally produced plums. <laughs> 제모자에 가득 받았어. 가득 받아. 네. 이건. People believe that guests who visit their home are people from God. This is why the Turkish are especially hospitable to their guests. Ahmed is the oldest person of the household. How could he be so healthy when he's over 82 years old? I follow Amine inside for a tour of the house. This house is over 500 years old. But practical ideas are hidden all over the place. Most houses are wooden structures of two or three stories. The space is strictly divided into men's and women's areas. It is designed so that the men can't peek into the places used by the women. The house utilizes space to the maximum with a built in closet. The wisdom of their ancestors surprises me. Amine's aunt is visiting with her family from far away Istanbul for the holiday. <laughs> Ahmed is happiest to see his younger sister. <laughs> <laughs> the family members gather around the dining table, their knees facing one another's. Now it's time to taste the women's cooking. Amine cooks traditional dishes of saffron bolu. She pours grains of wheat into a pot and stirs it well. 
It looks ordinary, but this is what people here eat to stay healthy in the summer. <laughs> Turkish people participate in Ramadan and spend a month of fasting once a year in accordance with the Muslim tradition. A holiday called Bayram follows the month-long Ramadan. People spend time with their families like other countries do during Thanksgiving. Aisha came a long way to meet her family. She walks away from the chattering of her family to devote some time to prayer. I feel like I can understand her prayers, which must be quite similar to those of mothers all around the world. Emine learned her mother's cooking recipes for Safran Balu's traditional dishes. The porridge is boiled until it is soft and Turkish yogurt is added. Herbs are sprinkled on top before eating the dish. This helps regulate bowel movements after Ramadan, the fasting period. I wonder how it tastes. The feast of sultans that is exquisite and colorful must be delicious. But this simple bowl of porridge I shared with these happy people will remain as a warm and lasting memory that I can't experience anywhere else in the world. <laughs> the family members look sad, as if they are parting with a family member. It makes it hard for me to leave too. My footsteps promised to come back one day, like flowing water. I visited Turkey with a longing in my heart, and leave with a reason to come again to Safranbolu. As we leave the village, it turns into a totally different scene with nature taking over. We drive 20 kilometers west from Safranbolu and reach a giant canyon. I can't tell how deep the cliffs are. All I hear is the echoing of the winds that fills the canyon. Times of nature that is unfathomable to humans have passed endlessly. The rocks that are piled up in layers are dented from a collision between two continents several thousands of years ago. Man is like a cloud that stays for a while and passes by in front of nature. I follow the canyon to a giant arch bridge. 
The ancient historical site that lived out the Byzantine and Ottoman eras is an aqueduct that was used for supplying water. O tarihte 1798 yılında yapıldıktan sonra içerisinden su geçirilerek karşıya kadar getirilip karşıdan düz borularla o tarihteki yapısal borularla Kapran bulu eski çarşının su ihtiyacını bu kemerden doğru dağdan gelen suyla görmek amaçlı yapılmıştır. 1798 yılında yapıldıktan sonra bu tarihte de şu an e, Safranbolu Yazıköy'de bulunan askeri birliğimizin su ihtiyacı komple boy olarak The bridge is slightly over 1 meter in width and 116 meters in length. It is built in zigzags to help the water flow smoothly. Tesisler kuruldu. Gelen oturup çayını, kahvesini rahatlık içebileceği, yemeğini yiyebileceği çok güzel tesisler kurduk. Aşağıda piknik alanlarımız var, atlarımız var. Ne isterlerse insanlar yaşamak istediği her şeyi yaşayabiliyorlar artık burada. Yani It doesn't get very crowded because it isn't yet well known. Thanks to that, nature and the ruins remain intact. Three sides of Turkey are surrounded by water. We are now headed to Amasura to meet the Black Sea, the Black Pearl. Mehmed II was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. He occupied Amasura, which belonged to the Byzantine Empire, and praised the breathtaking scenery, calling it the Eye of the World. Steep cliffs surround the shoreline along the Black Sea, making it difficult to approach. Only this area has a slope gentle enough for people to live and they can enjoy the waters from the white beach. The first thing that comes to mind when thinking about the Black Sea is a fried dish made with fish called hamsi, which is a type of anchovy. Hello! I approach this man, thinking he might be catching hamsi. It's hamsi? Yeah, it's Saudi. It's Saudi? Yeah. Hamsi? Sandalmanlı They are very fresh because they are in season. This man, who says he is from Germany, is enjoying his holiday to the fullest. A steep cliff and choppy waves. Do the people take after the sea? The people who live near the Black Sea are known to be more independent than Turkish people from other regions. Turkey connects Europe and Asia. This land that acted as the bridge between civilizations faced several rises and falls. Amasura built the palace walls of the Byzantine Empire on the foundation of Greek culture. After Mehmed II of the Ottoman Empire occupied Amasura, it became a city of trade where slaves and jewelry were dealt. Amasura shines more brightly with the traces of the past that endured through a long time. Hello. 
여러봐 제일 경치가 좋은데 앉으셨네요 예. 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 아마스라이스 하세요? 아마스라이스 이스탄불 I asked the pretty sisters I met on the hill to recommend some dishes of Amasura. Karadeniz pidesi var. Pidesi? Ama onlar da yaparlar bilmiyorum. Anladım. Başka hani meze tarzından? Meze. Yok Karadeniz'e ait öyle bir şey yok. Sadece güzel balıkları var o kadar. I walk down a slope that leads to an old bridge. It's the only bridge that connects the island and the mainland. The path that leads from the arch to Dostefi Island makes me feel like I'm traveling back in time. The tall palace hills are traces of a fortress from the 14th century proving that it was the hub of trade of the Black Sea in the past. Like any other city in Turkey, the crossroad of civilizations, this island creates a unique scene with a mixture of various structures from churches of the Byzantine era to Muslim mosques. Media Dolma? Media Dolma, please. Yes. Ah, Midi Dolmaran, John Teodio. Took his hand, the hanging to one of Hunga Yuri and Gayo. Hunga Yuri, the Hunga Bill Joseph, so get Sarago, or Sinamonago, or Cumin got the Hangshin Yuru, so Mandelgida, Tibangata, the Kunga Yuru, Kidago, Compoto got in Golo Sans. Along a coast that is curved toward the east, there are outdoor cafes where people can enjoy a meal while watching the priceless sunset of the Black Sea. It is a special gift to those who fasted during Ramadan, a time of restraint and self-control, and greeting in the Bayram holiday. Amasura is famous for its rich seafood dishes. I decide to visit the kitchen of the most famous restaurant. It is hard to control myself with the delicious smells of food grilling and frying. The cooks move swiftly and skillfully. Orchestrating all of this is Ali, the owner of the restaurant. Ali still cooks himself. He is in charge of cooking the most expensive fish dish in the restaurant. It is a halibut dish where the fish is coated in cornmeal and flour, then fried in sunflower seed oil. 
The secret to cook the fish thoroughly without having it drenched in oil is to throw out half the oil while cooking and filling it back up. It's close to sunset. The Black Sea, along with the sunset and mouth-watering seafood, welcomes the travelers who have come all this way without rest. A special dish is served to me, who came from Korea, the friendly country afar. My mouth drops open at the salad made with the chef's artistic skills. Italian parsley and oil, beets, and then dangun, young bechu, rucola, tomato. Chaku chaku nao neo. Turkey yacheteri, e hamjuru se tadang tingo at. Rekuman mashi, iban chigo lo nende, koso kaji shiwo neji nongo at. To me, food is a way of communicating. Through a dish of food, I find the nature of a region while learning about the people and history. As I watch the sunset of the Black Sea, I decide to go on another journey in search of the foods of sultans in Turkey. Thank you. 